Keith, every year I ask you, what do you want for your birthday? And every year you pretty much say the same thing. Wow, I would love to have a party and have all my family and friends around me. Well, guess what? That's what we've done. Keith, welcome to your virtual birthday party. Happy birthday, Keith. favorite memory of Keith probably would have to be, uh, I don't even know how long it was at this point, but he was in this video project where he had to play a gangster that was selling, uh, I think, like, cosmetics door to door. seen the footage and not realizing it was him because he just committed to it so hard and it didn't even seem like him and it was just funny for knowing him for that long just to see him transform into this hilarious character um that's something i'll always remember about him was just how funny he is <laughs> Welcome to Angel Days Avon, where I use Avon products to transform local homegirls into modern women of today. Where do I see Keith in the coming years? Um, I mean, that's hard to say, just because anyone that knows him knows he's had so many different types of jobs, done so many different things, and has gone so many different ways and so many different careers that I, I think it's impossible to predict. Um, the only thing that I know is that he'll be successful at it just because he works too hard not to be. Um, and I think that's something that, despite the job, that's something Keith always does, is works hard. So, yeah, I'm, I don't know what he'll be doing, but I think he'll be good at it. Happy birthday, Keith. Sitting in Pakistan right now. I'm very appreciative to the universe that it chose a cat to orchestrate our friendship. Uh, you're a truly inspirational human being, and I've learned a lot of things from you. May you continue to share your creative gifts and talents with this world. I love your work, I love you, and I miss you. And Mona, thank you for including me in this celebration. I hope to see you soon. I wish you all the best, and I want to continue to hear about all the wonderful things you're doing. It's your birthday! It's your birthday! We're gonna sing you a happy birthday! It's your birthday! It's your birthday! Sing your happy birthday! Okay, happy okay. birthday! Okay. Yeah. Happy birthday! Yeah. Happy Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birth, birth, birthday, dear Keith. Happy, happy.
Happy birthday, Keith. It's hard to believe that 60 years has gone by since you livened up my life down in Smyrna, Delaware in 1958. Um, you got off to a little bit of a rocky start as no fault of your own, but I think you have overcome a great deal and you seem to be perking along at a pretty good rate. I'm trying to remember a couple of short memories and I guess the most memorable negative thing is um, when you had were diagnosed with ventricular tachycardia at the hospital when you were 17 and when you came home after being connected to tubes and monitors for two weeks you told me the doctors were wrong and that it was not due to your extensive workouts and um, or exercise it was not going to be the piece it was not the trigger for your, your illness and to prove it you were going to do 300 sit-ups on the kitchen floor which you did and you proved that the doctor doctors were wrong and it was not exercise induced that was pretty traumatic for me you probably remember more of the details than I have time to tell. Uh, one of the happiest memories are, was when I came to visit you out in your little apartment in Sherman Oaks and I woke up in the middle of the night and I could smell those incredible chocolate chip cookies that were cooling off on racks all over the apartment. That was pretty amazing. Um, kind of the icing on the cake has been watching you now start this incredible painting, pop art painting, I guess you call it, that you do. And um, it just seems like your creativity has no bounds. I, I would like to think that I have given you some genetic, uh, that some of it is a genetic thing that I've given you, but it, it's not from me. You've done it all by yourself. Your resilience and your creativity just amaze me. Um, I'm not very good at sitting in front of the camera, as you know from past experiences. I just want to tell you that I'm very proud of all you have accomplished and continue to accomplish. And I think you're going to be around for a long time, uh, still doing all kinds of interesting things. And I'm sending you huge hugs and a lot of love on this 60th birthday. A lovely day. birthday. I wish you were here to celebrate with us, but I think this is a really good idea that Mona um, thought of. But I, I, again, wish you were here, but I know you have so much going on in, in Texas between your painting and your, um, the music that you join. You know, when thinking about all of this stuff of what you're currently involved in, I was, I listened to K Earth 101. I don't know if you ever listened to it. Gary, the guy's the AM host is Gary. You remind me so much of him. I mean, this guy is funny, he's witty, and I list, I laugh all the way to work. I think you should get into being a radio host. I think that would be a lot of fun. Um, but again, happy 60th birthday. And when you come home, I want you to do the one thing that I always ask, and that is, you know what it is, the Carlton dance. Come on, Keith. I love that. I never get tired of hearing about or seeing you do it, especially because you get that goofy look on your face, just like the guy who does the Carlton dance. But anyway, happy birthday. We love you. Hope to see you guys soon. <laughs> so he was actually a pretty huge influence on my life, just in terms of widening my world. Got me, you know, turned me on to, uh, to Bruce Lee and martial arts and, and bodybuilding and, and you know, put a lot of stuff on my radar that probably wouldn't have been on there otherwise. So I very much appreciate that and I'm thankful for that. Um, and like I said, I'm, I'm thankful. I think we have a healthy mutual respect for each other, even though we're, we're very different in a lot of ways. Um, yeah, 
So, you know, in terms of what I think is in store for Keith, I think still a bright future, even though you're a crotchety old man who's got, at least you got new tennis balls for your walker, but, um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I think if you stay focused, the sky's the limit in terms of the music, and that's always been a passion, like a true passion, and if you stay focused on that, plus with the painting, I, I see big, big things, so. Love you, love you, love you, and hopefully we'll be able to hang out together soon. Hi Keith, happy birthday, happy 60th. This is my favorite corner in my condo. And I got dressed up for your birthday. I wish I was there to celebrate it with you. I love you so much. And I don't know what else to say. I just, I love you and I'm proud of you. I adore this. <laughs> so, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Keith. If you ever find yourself stuck in the middle of the sea, I'll sail the world to find you. If you ever find yourself lost in the dark and you can't see, I'll be the light to guide you. Find out what we're made of When we are called to help our friends in need You can't count on me Like one, two, three, I'll be there And I know when I need it I can count on you Like four, three, two, and you'll be there Cause that's what friends are supposed to do oh yeah Ooh. 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 Yeah. Yeah. hi uncle keith your big sister cindy made me the designated birthday greeter and wisher because nobody can resist this face Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. Are you really 60 years old? My oh my, that's old as the hills. But that's okay, we still love you. Have the best birthday ever, Unky Keith. Bye. All right, we're going to mail these to you soon enough, but um, something that you and my dad have been constantly telling me is don't squander your talent and I'm a visual arts major at Kappa now and I'm doing what I love. I'm kind of um, considering switching to a different instrument just because piano has been um, my instrument for about nine years I think and maybe I'll get into cello who knows but I love your art it's great and I wish I could like give you a big hug but we're how many miles away are we? I don't know. 1,000, 1,500. <laughs> That's a lot, still. But um, I wish you could come over and you know hang out with us and just thank you for all the stuff you've taught me in terms of keeping an open mind and keeping an open heart. Happy birthday, Uncle Keith. I love you. Happy I love birthday, Keith! That was so off. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. Happy birthday. To you, dear Keith, happy birthday. To you, dear Keith, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, dear Keith. Well, what's next? How about let's go down to the Savile at 11. Let's go down to the Savile at 11. Keith, oh my gosh. Happiest birthday wishes to you. Have the best day ever. And there's so much to come for you, Keith. You are just getting your life started and you've got all this talent. What is next for you? I can't wait to find out. First of all, happy birthday, Keith. You're gonna be 60. It's good. You're probably gonna live another 30 years. So I totally believe that. I'm gonna live 31 more years, so I'm 59. But um, I'm trying to think of stuff that, like, good story. There's so many good stories. First of all, I'll just say that growing up, 
for anyone who's listening, growing up with Keith was like growing up with like a movie star or somebody who was like, I don't know, it's hard to explain. He just basically made life interesting and like I would say we were like brothers, but we were more than brothers. We were like always together all the time. Like we were like dating pretty much, but we were you know, just friends. Seriously, though, we were always in each other's houses. Um, it was just weird. It was like, I have a brother, and I never really spent much time with my real brother. But uh, me and Keith were like, basically were together like 24-7. And it was great. Great childhood. Um, I guess the best story I have is when... Um, we always talked We talked about moving to California, and he would always talk about it. I said, oh, California, we're going to go to California, you know. And I always thought, we're all going to go to California. Because most, if most people said that, I would think, we're not going to California. There's no way. But he, just something about him, and anybody who knows him kind of knows what I mean. He would just, I just knew it. It was weird. And then he, of course, went first. I think the crazy son of a bitch hitchhiked. Um, I believe that he did hitchhike at least part of the way. <laughs> and then he got a place and he was basically all set up and I don't know how long after he went that I went. But I think when I went out there I was 19 so I had to go right after him because I graduated high school when I was 19. And um, I took a bus across the country, Greyhound. It was $75, <laughs> and uh, that was it. And then we lived together out there, and we had so many good times. Um, we fought a lot when we were teenagers. Like, that's what we did our whole childhood. We got in fights, and um, I'm not trying to throw you under the bus, Keith, but you probably started most of them. But I was always there for all of them, so we had a lot of fun. And. Um, the funniest one was when we fought seven Marines. <laughs> that was funny. But the funniest fight that, the funniest night I ever had with him when we were younger and we were still living at home in Havertown was um, we, there was a place called the Skating. It was an ice skating rink. And um, we were there one night and I went in to use the restroom there was a lot of kids outside like there was always kids in our neighborhood it was like a suburban neighborhood but there was it was crowded it was good it was a really good school high school was great the kids were great there was uh, mixed races it was just great everybody got along most of the people and um, well anyway he I go in to use the bathroom and I come out and I see like 30 kids and I'm not exaggerating it was about 30 of them they're surrounding somebody and they're all like swinging their coats and like, I'm like, is this a fight? I walk over and when I can get a view who's in the middle, it's my boy Keith with his nunchucks. <laughs> he was like, as he is with everything, most things he does, probably better than Bruce Lee with nunchucks. No, he definitely was better than Bruce Lee with nunchucks. He was crazy. And it was so funny, and it, nothing really happened. It's, the kids just, but they were so scared to go near him, and it was like 30 of them, it was hilarious. <laughs> so that'll be all for the fights. There was many more, but that was one of the funnier ones. Well, they were two of the funny ones, but. Um, other than that, I mean, just him, Keith get, getting out in California and setting our place up was like, it, it helped me a lot because I got to live there for almost four years and then I left and came home to um, take care of my mother who had cancer. So I was about 23 when I came home. And um, I planned on moving back out, but I don't know, I was just young. I ended up staying here and that's it. And then I lo we lost touch with each other for years and um, I've been trying to look for him for years and I think he's been trying to look for me. And um, it's just, I'm glad we got in contact with each other. Like, it's the best thing that's happened to me in a long time. 
So it's been great, dude. The painting you made for me, I mean, your artwork, just how successful you've been. Um, I always knew you would be, and it's great, man. Like, I'm so happy for you. You have a great wife, Mona is like a great person, I can tell. Um, I'm just really happy for you, dude. Love you, brother. All right, man, happy birthday. Enjoy yourself. Happy birthday, Keith. How's it going? It's your old pal, Sarah. Just wanted to wish you an amazing 60th birthday. I can't even believe we were that old. You knew me when my hair was brown, and I knew you when you looked like Billy Idol. Um, I'm so sorry I can't be there. I would love to be there in Texas to celebrate with you, but I'm giving you a shout out from Cali, from LA, and I uh, just want to tell you how much I love you and appreciate you, and I'm so happy that it's your birthday, and I just want to say telephone, and here's to you. Happy birthday. <laughs> Just kidding. It's water. I've been sober for 10 years. Cheers, honey. I love you. Here's to the best birthday ever. Hi, Keith. Just wanted to tell you happy birthday. Um, very, very excited with the things that we have going on. And I just wanted to tell you that I really, really value you, you as a friend. And I consider you family, both you and Mona. And I cannot tell you how blessed I feel that both of y'all are in my life. And I'm so excited for the projects that you and I have worked on in the past. And I can't wait for what we work on in the future. And I know only great things can come for being together. So, happy birthday. Birthday, Keith. Happy 60th birthday. In 60 years, you have done so many things, so many creative things. One of them was this great place, Hollywood Cookie Company. I have memories of going on weekends and working with you and Ramona, uh, making cookies and fudge. Um, I had so many, so much fun doing that. And uh, your cookies, I still think of them. You made the best cookies. And so I was thinking, well, gosh, he's done so much. What would a future project, what would, could he do? Uh, Hmm, possibly writing a children's book about Sebastian and your other cats. I think that would be cool. But whatever you decide to do, Keith, I know you will do it with passion and you'll do a great job. So have a great birthday. I don't know what it is, but every time I wear this shirt, I feel like a freaking rock star. All right, so. <clears throat> oh, let me drink some water here. Give me a second. Oh, oh, Keith. Oh, Jesus. You know, <clears throat> every time I get on camera, you see my double chin here. And that ain't happening. Give me a second here. All right. Yeah, there we go. All right, Keith, where are you? There you are. All right, so, Keith. Happy birthday, my friend. Um, I actually, um, I wrote, I wrote something out because I didn't, I had a lot to say and I didn't want to forget it. And, uh, I had to, it took up like five pages, so I rewrote it in Mandarin, so it would take up one page so I can read it to you. Um, anyhow, I, I'm not even kidding. I, it's, it's in Mandarin. Um, alright, so, Keith. Happy birthday, my friend. <clears throat> Friends, that's you. Keith, you are and always have been a rock star in my book. You are one of the most multi-talented people that I know. You are the epitome of what it is to be an artist. You paint, you sing, you make music, you're a flander, flander, nope. Sorry, that actually says photographer, my bad. You're even a baker. Who in a million years would think that you were a baker? Crazy. And you're a good looking dude. Don't ever let anybody tell you that that is not a talent, because that is a talent, my friend, trust me. It ain't easy being this good looking. But most importantly, Keith, you are a good guy. Anybody would be so fortunate to call you a friend, and I'm lucky enough to call you a brother. 60 years, it's a long time on this planet, and the amount of life experience you packed into those years, well, most couldn't hold a candle to you. I remember when you and I first met, we fast became friends. 
and I was in a pretty dark place going through some difficult and challenging times that you were um, very, very intuitive too. You were always reaching out to check up on me, to offer me advice and wisdom, constant encouragers, and you always promised the light at the end of the tunnel. And I did, I got through those days because of people like you, man, um, that cared enough about me. I'm really sorry that we don't keep in touch like we used to. We miss our convos, our laughs. But I know that no matter what, you're, um, you're always there, as am I. You'll always have a special place in my heart, brother. 60 years is chump change, you know. You've got another 60 to go, and I can't even begin to fathom the things that you will do, but I know, if anything at all, it won't be boring, it won't be half-ass. Happy birthday, Keith. I, uh, I love you, you are a genuine friend, and uh, I wish you an amazing year ahead. Um, nothing but happiness and health. Talk to you soon. Hello Keith, how are you doing? I hope you're well, happy birthday and thank you so much for being an amazing, wonderful friend. I want to tell you that you are one of the most influential people in my life. You truly changed my life. I know we had our moments and uh, our relationship had its ups and downs. And I had been always the best friend and I had my moments too in life. I, uh, overall, I want to tell you that I really appreciate you so much. And I'll never forget that day. I'm gonna meet you outside my door, and, uh, and you were with, with Sarah, Sarah Abraham. Sarah was uh, an amazing soul that brought us together. I also want to thank you so much for allowing me to go with you to the bed that day. That was a, a very emotional moment to me. Thank you so much for allowing me to come with you. That was very special. And uh, I want to thank, you, thank Sarah for what us bringing us together. Uh, have a wonderful birthday. And hi, Buona. Hope you're well. And thank you for letting me do this video for you. Uh, um, wish you a happy, happy birthday. And uh, much love from Los Angeles, from Rick and I. Uh, have a beautiful, beautiful birthday and a wonderful year ahead. I'm wishing you lots of health and happiness and joy. And um, gosh, I hope we get to see each other in the near future. And we'll talk soon. Have a happy, happy birthday. And we'll, um, I'll, I'll call you on your birthday as well. OK, love you, Keith. Happy birthday. Bye, Frankie says happy birthday to Where's Frankie? Frankie, say happy birthday. Where's Frankie? Hi, Keith. I wanted to wish you a happy birthday. And you know that I am the most camera shy person ever, so um, this is a big deal, but you are so important to me. So I wanted to make sure that you know how much I adore you. And uh, I'm so thrilled that you are in my life. How are you doing? Tonight? Wanted to say hello and I wanted to shout out happy birthday. 60 years old. Wow. Okay, you got a long way to go to reach up to me. But I just want to say happy birthday and may you have many, many more. Keep uh, your love by me and I imagine the whole family. Cammy is taking this video for me. Hey, Keith. Happy <laughs> birthday. Yeah, happy birthday. But anyway, you have always been an inspiration to me. You have given me so many, so much advice, and you probably don't even realize it, but anytime that we've gotten together to talk, 
You've always given me a gem, something to live by, something to be encouraged, something to work on. So anyway, I just want to say I love you. And I'm looking forward to the many other things that you're going to accomplish in life. I just want to say to you, I love the many gifts you have and how you are. You just go for it. That's just such a wonderful thing. As I said, that's an inspiration for me. And I love you. And have a great, happy birthday. Keith, happy birthday, my brother from another mother. Hey man, just want to send you uh, our best from the Hoovers. And uh, hey. Happy birthday. Hey Milana, say happy birthday. <laughs> She's learning to brush her teeth today. Oh. So something I remember about, about us is, um, you know, how you, how you uh, fought for me, man. I was ready to do the advanced course and wasn't ready financially and, and you and Mona were like we got you the finance is the only thing and I, I always remember and appreciate how you and Mona sponsored me essentially to do the landmark um, advanced course also um, we were at karaoke or karaoke one time and you just killed it I felt like I was listening to uh, what's his name Fred Astaire um, what's the guy you think of? the most famous uh, Christmas, Frank Sinatra, I was like, damn, I'm with Frank Sinatra right now and I didn't even have to pay to get in. So, you know, keep on shining, keep doing you. What do I think you're gonna be doing next? Well, other than whatever the you wanna do, because you can do it, my guess is you're gonna have your own talk show. I can see you interviewing people and just, uh, Keith Carey's talk show. Keep being bold. I'm so uh, inspired by you. You're courageously always all in with everything you're up to. Happy birthday, my brother. Next time we're in uh, Texas or wherever you are in the world, we're coming to see you. Much love from the Hoovers. Hey, look at it, baby. Yeah, happy birthday, Keith. Happy birthday. <laughs> love you, man. We want to wish Keith a very, very happy 60th birthday. Oh my gosh, look at my hair, Dwayne. Well, your hair's a mess, but I know a guy that can fix it. All you got to do is go see this great new hairstylist. His name is Keith. Keith? I should have thought of that. Yeah, that well, not only great. does he do hair, but when you're done, he can do a headshot and he has a fashion photography magazine that he can put that in. Oh my That's... gosh, I should have thought of that. So what are we gonna do after the headshot? I'll be all made up. Well, you know what? I know a great place to eat. There's a great new short order kit cook in a restaurant I know, and it just serves terrific food. Makes. Oh, who is it? Well. His name is Keith, and he's just a wonder, wonderful short order cook. You know, and we can go out for dessert after that. Sounds yummy. Where will we go then? We're gonna go to a place named Hollywood Cookies. And I'll tell you, these cookies are the best ever. They are the bomb. And you know what? Guess what the name of the guy that does those, that makes those cookies is? I have no idea. His name is Keith. The cookies are so good. What are we going to do after this? Well, I was thinking of going and making a night on the town. Let's go out to the bar, and I know a great new bartender. This guy makes the best drinks on the planet. You do? What's his name? Oh, his name is Keith. But not only does he make the best drinks, if there's any trouble in that bar, he will take care of it. This guy is a martial arts expert and he will kick some butt if there's any problem. Ooh, well that's really cool. What are we gonna do after that? Well, you know, it's such a big day, but there's another great event going on and they're highlighting a terrific marketing and motivational speaker who's also an upcoming artist and 
He does everything, including producing and writing music. Who is it? Well, his name is Keith, and he is the best. Keith, we admire everything you have done, the person you are, and the person you might become. And we've thought about this, about what you might do in the future. So they're proposing a new sixth branch of the military called the Space Force. And I got a feeling that you would be the perfect person to run the whole shebang. You would be in charge of all artistic and marketing endeavors and all the overall operations. So we just want to make a toast to, for the past, present, and future endeavors. You know, you've accomplished so much. We want to wish you a happy number 60. And it's with much love from Laura and Dwayne and our whole family. Way to go, Keith. You've done it all. Today, oh. tomorrow, and forever. <laughs> Keith Carey birthday video, take 29. Action. Hey, Keith Carey. Uh, this is John. You already knew that. But look at this. Look at how long have you tried to get me to do some type of a video on something that I could help people on or had some expertise on? And I've never done it. And uh, look at this. Mona's got me doing a video. So congrats to Mona. So anyway, first of all, I wanted to wish you a very uh, happy uh, birth. Whoa, holy cow. My hair is really getting thin on top, I guess. I didn't realize that. Hmm, was, I don't think it has anything to do with 60. I wish the rest of me would uh, thin out like that. Um, anyway, back to the purpose of this. I wanted to wish you a very happy, healthy, blessed uh, 60th birthday. Uh, having gone through it, it's not all that bad. You know, it's been over a year now since I've had my 60th and I'm still living. You know, it's a good thing. Uh, and they, as they said, the alternative is, uh, is, isn't all that good. So uh, anyway, happy birthday. Um, I did want to uh, express my appreciation for your friendship and your ability to always reach out and try to help me. I think that's how we initially met was you were uh, offering up to help me on a few things. Um, and I just want to kind of acknowledge I'm very kind of actually kind of jealous of your talents and that as it relates to your, your ability to paint, your artwork, uh, your music and um, you know, your photography and that, and really you've got a great ability to get to know people, um, to try and help them. I mean, you got a very kind heart. Uh, I see it, I'm sure most of the people that have met you know you, uh, so you've got a kind heart, and you're always there to, to try and help people out. So, anyway, I want to express my, uh, my thanks uh, for our friendship. Uh, like I said, congratulate you on your birthday. Uh, I did, um, you know, I don't spend a lot of money on stuff, but uh, I bought uh, a little gift. Uh, it's actually for myself, but when we go out, and which we should do, um, I'll wear it. So I just wanted to let you see it. So anyway, hey Keith, happy birthday. I love you. Let's go out sometime. Maybe we can even uh, drag the spouses out too. We can have a good time. Um, anyway, happy birthday, and God bless you, man. Take care. All right, Keith, I just want to say happy birthday, man. Um, you're such a great guy, and they asked me to say something about my fondest memories of you. And for me, it's it's not one memory in particular, it's a collection of just, a collection of memories. It's things, it's the holidays, talking around the table, um, it's just seeing you at family events, and just you're such a positive guy you're so optimistic that smile that you have that's the stuff that to me is the overall just fond memory it's just the great guy that you are so I just wish you a very happy birthday um, you are so entrepreneurial and you have such a positive mind and uh, they asked me to say something about what where I saw you in the future and I don't know where I see you in the future but wherever it is I know that it's total happiness and total success and I just want to wish you once again happy birthday. So from me and Santino, happy birthday Keith. Happy birthday Uncle Keith. Uncle Keith. Keith, happy birthday. 
I just want to say a couple things. Okay, so my fondest memory of us all together is when you did Angel Does Avon. You were so completely into it. Um, we just had so much fun and you know, everything you approach is with a whole heart. Everything, every project you helped me on and guided me through, it's with a whole heart and with such love and I appreciate it so much. You and Mona have been amazing, amazing mentors and you've helped me through so much. Um, but I know the secret to your success and I'm going to tell everyone now and I hope you don't mind. I believe that the secret to your success is that you approach everything with your whole heart and you give more than a hundred percent of yourself and that's not easy to do and most people don't have the courage to do it and you do and that's why everything you do turns out amazing because you're fully in it with your whole heart and I just I love you for that and whatever you do <laughs> whatever you decide to do will be amazing because of who you are Keith um, I'm just Every time I see one of your paintings, I'm literally in awe. I, I cannot believe all the things that you do, but I do believe it because you're you. What I'd like to see in the future is you and Mona around our dinner table with all our conversation and good laughs. I miss you guys so much and I love you with all my heart. Happy birthday, Keith. Hi, I'm Mary Ann Lizenby. And I'm J. Steve Lizenby Esquire. Together, we're the Steve and Mary Ann Lizenby Lizenby's family. Family. And we want to wish you happy birthday. I can't believe we've known each other for 11 years, and we consider you among our closest of friends. <laughs> and we still never met in person. So this year, we're definitely going to have to remedy that. And here's our birthday song. Birthday. Happy birthday. Who that call my name? Yeah, I called you if your name is. <laughs> I talked this between the crack of your ass. Come on, Cletus. Come on, Cletus. Walk over. Show your walk. You gonna walk over, but you limp back. And you gonna walk over, but you limp back. <laughs> What's up, brother? I know you're laughing. I miss you, man. I hope you're doing great. What an honor. I'm so humbled and, uh, and, and excited to be able to share this amazing moment with you to celebrate your life. 60 years, what a milestone. And you are a young soul, so that's, yeah, your 60s is kind of the new 30, so <laughs> you got a long way to go. You've got so many more lives you're going to reach and impact like you've impacted mine. You've been such an example. Uh, you helped lay that foundation early on when I was a teenager. Uh, when I knew you know, I had that entrepreneurial bug, but, but I, I needed some direction, you gave that direction to me. You laid that important foundation, you planted the seed, you inspired so many amazing things that came out of me later on in life as I, as I just blossomed and grew and learned from watching your example uh, and, and, and just all the things that we've been able to share together. Thank you so much for that. Thank you for everything you've, you've meant to me and, and that you... Um, have just been willing to be for, for everybody. Again, being a big brother, being an example, uh, being a true entrepreneur, uh, you don't know how to fail, you know, you just, you succeed at anything you touch, anything that life throws at you, you tackle, you overcome, you blossom, you come out standing on top, and that's what an, what an amazing achievement. Um, so, thank you. I'm so grateful to have been part of your life, to know you, to have you as a, as a big brother, and um, again, I just can't get over that one. <laughs> When we called your brother, he didn't know you were with me, and I called him, and and uh, I, was, I, I was imitating somebody that, that was trying to sell him a newspaper. <laughs> I was 
such an amazing time. <laughs> oh my gosh. We've had so many amazing memories you've shared. I mean, hundreds and hundreds. And I could just, we could sit here for hours going through and reminiscing all the time and all the amazing moments. Uh, our ups and downs in life and everything. So, gosh, you're a rare individual. And, and, and again, what an impact you've had on my life alone. So uh, I can't imagine. I know how many, I think, thousands right now. I mean, thousands of lives that you've, you've been able to impact and touch. So uh, God bless you. I want to wish you the happiest of birthdays, filled with all the joy, all the happiness, all the prosperity and good health uh, life can offer. Uh, I miss you. Um, I love you, brother. Have a great one. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll talk and see each other soon. All right, take care. First of all, Keith, happy birthday. I love you, I miss you, um, but I've got a video to make. You know, we'll, we'll get together and chit chat later. Uh, number one, Keith, you are not only a father, not only a husband, not only a brother, you're a friend. You're a, a, one of the best friends that I've ever made in my life. Um, you're very detrimental in my growth and development not only just as a young preteen, but now into a man. Um, honestly, you've made me who I am today. Um, you've made me stronger, both mentally and physically. Um, I don't know if you or Mona have the understanding of the impact that you guys made on my life. Uh, being a young city boy from North Hollywood, California, um, you know, there was trouble all around me. You gave me my first job, I was 14 years old. Who's gonna trust a 14 year old that you don't really know all too well? Um, but you know, I guess you, you kind of just understood my poise from, you know, right away uh, as a kid, probably, you know, hearing it from Ge Keith or Greg or any of the guys around, but, um, you mean a lot to me. You mean the world to me. Um, you know, I, I kind of see you as a, a jack of all trades and a master of all. Um, anything that you've put your hands on, it's become gold to become something very precious, not only to you, but to those around you. Um, you have a, 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 a huge support channel um, and everyone flocks to you. You have that personality, you have the poise, you have the knack, you have the charisma, man. Um, and, and I love that about you. But what I love even more is the fact that you took me under your wing when I didn't have anything. I had, I had no one. Um, you know, and, and you know that growing up, but, uh, enough about me, man. Um, you may say you help anybody you can. You're a tremendous person. Um, one of the, one of the most fondest memories that I'll ever have. Um, you know, I've, I've listened to all kinds of music growing up. I've listened to rap, reggae, rock, oldies, new music, everything. Right. So we were driving. I want to say it was San Pedro somewhere. I think Handy Market couldn't make a delivery, uh, but we had taken a drive um, and we were delivering cookies. One, I, I believe it was a Saturday morning. It was just me and you um, We out on the open road and we were jamming to music. And I will never forget listen to, listening to uh, Tom Jones' What's New Pussycat. And we sang the entire way 
and the entire amount of the song. And it's it's it was phenomenal. It was one of my most fondest memories of us both. Um, unfortunately, you know, I've been away from you, you know, some a few years, and you know, in and out and deployment, and, you know, whatnot. But that that by far is probably one of my most fondest memories, um, other than being called Snickerdoodle. I'll never forget that. By the way, I want some recipes. Anyways, um, Keith, you you are a brother. You are a father. You are a friend. You're everything above, hands down. You know, I hope the best for you. I want nothing but the best for you. Um, again, like I said, no matter what you put your hands on, it's golden. So I don't expect anything less. Uh, hopefully I'm not making your bar a little bit higher there, but uh, I definitely expect uh, nothing but the best for you and from you. Um, I miss you guys. I miss you guys terribly. Uh, unfortunately, again, once, you know, I'm away. Um, however... I'm closer than you think. Um, you just may you may see me soon. I'm actually in El Paso, Texas, so I'm only about a nine-hour drive, so I just may pop up. I have family in Texas. My wife has family in Texas, so we just might see you soon, okay? Um, last thing before I go. Truly, Keith, if it was not for you, I don't know where I would be. You know, there was a lot of influences in my life, a lot of older males that steered me in the right direction but if you did not give me the chances that you gave me and shown me and told me and helped me learn about experiences in life how to be responsible how to take care of finances how to how to talk to people you know you're you're a, you have a way with words man and and i can't describe it you can walk into a store and have the entire store laughing and wanting to talk just to you. And it's it's phenomenal, man. Um, you know, I'm doing my best not to cry. Um, truly, man, you have no idea how grateful I am to have a man like you in my life. But I'm not the I love you, Keith. One. You're tremendous. You're awesome. I hope and on your birthday, I salute you.